Hello! This time I would like to show you the whole scan process on the Asterix figure. This is not very rich in details and also a bit big for the Mini. The Pop 2 would have done it too. But it also about the performance and the time needed for processing. I can also show you a way to avoid tracking loops when an object can't be scanned at once. As you can see, the Asterix is missing the second wing on his helm. So after the scan I will import the whole thing into the blender to make the replacement for the missing wing. Fortunately he has the one. So let's start. I have prepared the Asterix figure with some scan spray, which I do for the mini with most colored objects. So let's start a new scan. Higher accuracy scan, feature mode, no color. First, I look at the exposure settings. With two, there are already few overexposures to see. And since the object is also quite bright, probably already one is enough. Now I have to correct the orientation of the scanner a little bit to capture as much as possible with the first rotation. I will wait now for one rotation to see if I am satisfied with the alignment of the scanner. Okay, looks so far quite well, so I begin now the scanning process. To avoid problems with the tracking, I will not pause the scan to realign the scanner, but move it slowly downwards after each rotation. Of course, there is there also the possibility to shake the scanner too much and lose the tracking or get unclean scan data. But for me this method has turned out to be the best so far. So, once again the scanner a little bit down, then everything necessary should be able to be captured. Okay, I think this should be enough. I think this is okay for the first scan. I still miss some of these areas. I will scan these afterwards, but this time I want to do it. And you see I have 1069 frames. And what I want to show you now is when I'm stopping the scan now, I'm not going to fuse the point cloud immediately, complete, because sometimes when I look into here I see 0 0.1, so not the settings I want to have for the Mini, even if this model doesn't need higher settings. Okay, um, so before I start fusing uh, the model now, I will also start the timer, and I'm also going to get speed up the recording.
Okay, so the fusing process um, needed around 3 minutes and 40 seconds. While in the first minute uh, the CPU usage was maxed out often, the rest of the time it was more or less under 50%. I just recognized that I didn't catch it the um, progress bar, so let me just fix that for the next fusing process this is visible. So, this fusion results in roughly 14.5 million points. It's a very even cloud. I think I missed some points here and there, but that's okay. So, let's now start to try to get this done. Since I got so much scan data from my first scan, uh, the next scan is not a big problem to get aligned for the scanner, so I think it's now not a problem to realign the scanner before starting the scan again. Let me just speed up the process a bit. And crank up the exposure settings. And finally starting the scan process again. Okay, this should be enough. As you can see, I'm still missing some points here and there, um, but yeah, since I'm importing this already in Blender, I think it's easy, easier for me to correct these in Blender than to make another scanning round. Also, all important parts are captured and a lot of these are easy enough for the hole filling to correct nicely. So, stopping now the scan process without fusing, complete, and checking the fusing settings, still ok, so let's start fusing now. So, with these 474 additional frames, uh, the fusing process takes now 5 minutes and 30 seconds and results now into 19.5 million points. Like before, just in the first minute the CPU was maxed out at 100% and in the rest of the time it was under 50% and still missing some points like I said before, but I think these will be corrected now when we are going to mesh these cloud. So, time for meshing now. Let's take a look at the meshing settings. Mesh quality at 6, denoising 0, fill holes, 
yeah, looks okay. So I think we can start meshing. And I will also start it with the timer. So this was quite fast, just 1 minute 20 seconds and it results in 920,000 vertices. And when we look now at the mesh, it looks quite well with some flaws I was already aware of because of these missing points. But um, like you see, that something like this I could easily correct in Blender and it is much easier than just scanning more and more. Important parts like this is done and this is now what I'm looking for. Also the CPU was peaking out now and then but not too much and so it shouldn't be a big problem even if your CPU is slower. It should not take much longer. Now let's switch to Blender. Here you can see now the scanned model in Blender. And yeah, it looks very good. Everything is like I wanted. So now it's time to work on the lost wing. For this, I needed the wing that's already there. So I duplicated the complete figure and then cut all the way but the wing. So this looked like this then. Okay, so I closed it after deleting everything else and then I mirrored the wing. It looks like this. And also extruded some stuff out of there, so I needed some for the boolean process. So, I took the figure again and booled out the geometry so that the wing sits later also accurately. And this looks then like that. This should fit after printing nice on the figure. And the whole thing, figure should be looking like this then. So, that's it for now. Um, I will... I think I will post an update as soon as I've printed it out and glued it uh, on the figure so you can see how it will look in real life. But for now this was the whole process and I hope you liked it. And I, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching.